And uh, he came to me knowing I had all this retail experience, um, wanting to open up a plain t-shirt place. Oh. And I had just come out of 20 years retail working for other people. And I never really thought about having my own business, but I literally hit the ground running. It was the most natural thing I could be doing. Yeah. So I had reached out to small Canadian designers that I knew and it just hit like wildflower. And those Canadian designers, have you had established a relationship with them by working in retail before? Oh yes, yeah. yes definitely, and I picked up some new ones as well. I think that's really important because the things that you see here, uh, you don't see anywhere else. No, so and, it, and it, you're right about the quality. We choose to work with smaller companies because mm -hmm. we're a transparent store, meaning people can come in and ask us any process of the buying, oh. uh, where it's made, where it's coming from, that's really important to us mm -hmm. so we choose not to deal with mass manufacturers we want to keep it small and now since COVID we have cut out half of our suppliers so that's kind of been uh, more manageable for us. I love that you um, offer that transparency. I will say that's the first time um, I've heard that to that full extent there's some other places that are you know you know um, especially if you're more sustainable and, and explaining that process but for you to be like, you know, me to come in and be like, well, how much did it cost you to bring this in? And then typically everyone understands a markup process, but being transparent in, in that sense, I think is really important to the conscious shopper that everyone is starting to be a little bit more now. We're Well, we have the right to know, don't we, absolutely. as consumers? Yes. Where our tomato comes from. Yes. Where everything comes from. So yeah, we want to be a little bit more conscientious for sure. I love that. And yeah. tell me a little bit about the name now. Johnny Ruth, it's, it's a unique it, it name. It was just a made up name. Really? Um, because it was feminine and masculine. Yeah. There's a little bit of Johnny and Ruth in all of us. Yeah. Especially now we're so inclusive. I love that. Um, and it, and then a month after we opened up the store, these old timers, like in their 80s, 90s, were coming in asking how I was related to Johnny Ruth. Stop. So he was a person um, that, uh, a, a peddler that would go down to New York, buy quality wares, come into the community. You're just, you're kidding me. Come into the community so people remember, <laughs> like people my mom's age, remember Johnny Ruth. Johnny Ruth as a little girl. Yeah. Um, so then I, I, I end up um, talking to all his kids. He, he settled in Botwood. Wow. And died in the late '60s. And then I'm after talking to uh, his like um, a lot of members. his kids. He has 13 mm -hmm. children. Wow. And I talked to the youngest one and I, I made a connection with his family. That's incredible. Such I know. an amazing story for that to happen I know, and it's way. playful and fun. It is. Just because we're at like a beautiful store, mm -hmm. uh, it always has to have an element of playfulness and fun. Yeah. And practicality. Yeah, you really can see the passion when you speak about your business. And yes. that, that <laughs> as a fellow entrepreneur, is very, um, I don't want to say satisfying, but it's just so positive to see because it's not easy, right? Especially being here downtown, it's a lot Water of work, Street, this construction, this in, this economy. Um, how have things changed for you, I guess, with COVID? Um, well, truly, in one phrase, buy less and live more. Yeah. I know that might sound like a contradiction, mm -hmm. but we really have cut out half of our suppliers. Yeah. And we just want to continue um, making that shopping experience fun mm -hmm. and practical mm -hmm. and easy yeah. for our customers. And feel good. So that's what that has done. Yeah. This whole physicality of bricks and mortar is very easy for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to change my brain to website. Mm -hmm. I've had some really capable, talented people working on it. But I needed to go full time with the website. Yeah. And that's what I did. I respect that. That's huge. And it's it's uh, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Mm -hmm. And I was scared to death. Yep. And uh, which I always am starting something new. Absolutely. But you just need to walk a few steps. Yep. And now I love it. Mm -hmm. I can't even believe I'm becoming a computer geek. Oh my God. I can't Can even you say believe I'm... it, right? 20 years or plus of that retail and in store yes. experience and then shifting. And a lot of people are using this word pivot. So your pivot really was taking this retail business yes. and putting it online. And merchandising my online store now. Yeah. 
and just making it really easy and practical for We've had lots of scenarios, like a guy in Ontario, his mom was in the home, mm -hmm. so we did up a beautiful package, and uh, with our card service, we write on the card and hand delivered it to I her. love, love that, and that's the so really great thing. So keeping the connections. You can make those um, transactions too, not just here in Newfoundland, because you've pivoted, pivoted your business online. What other things are you doing? Are you able to do like that, that maybe could be like a call-in service or a card service? Uh, oh, well, we do home delivery. Um, we do online um, calls, like uh, creating gift baskets for people. Mm -hmm. We're going really big with gift baskets online. That's huge. Yeah. Uh, corporate, real estate. Um, oh, that's Just to make so it great. really easy for people. Yeah. We also have our um, liquor license. No way. So we're able to put alcohol beautiful the, items with our um, packages. That's incredible. We have our license now. Have you seen your business evolve from even like would you say it started maybe as a gift shop and now evolved more into like a lifestyle or clothing or? We started as clothing. Okay. And then I added a few little books mm -hmm. and then I added a few little gifts. Yeah. And we're, we are definitely known for the fun stuff. Yeah. Like our sticker display for summer. Oh my God, because I love having lots of stuff for little kids mm -hmm. and to make it playful for them and show them what customer service. We treat them with the utmost dignity and respect. Absolutely. And, uh, um, and they are very welcome. Well, you can mm. even see, um, even me just being here for this short amount of time and the people that come in and how you are, like you know a lot of people and you're, it's just like, it's so comfortable to be here. Whether or not you end up purchasing something or not, you don't make it like a salesy kind of pushy well, experience. It's, it's really kind of like knocking on my door, coming in my home. It is, like, yeah. How can I help you? Yeah. Do you need a drink of water? Yeah. Let us find that right fit for you. Do you need to take it home to try it on with your bits and bobbles? Yeah. It's it's more practical. We want thing, people to wear their clothes. Yeah, and it'd be more of like an experience in that sense, and you're coming in with a friend, and you want to look yes. around, and there, there is so much here to see. Maybe we could do a little tour. Maybe oh, you I could show that. me around, show me some of your yes. favorite things. Can I start with our card section? Absolutely, let's go. Okay. Very exciting, because I know cards were a big part of the business for you starting out, and I see they have their own little corner here. Very unique. I don't see any cards like this anywhere else in the city. How do you choose your cards? I know you probably got to figure it out it's by my, now. One of my favorite things to do is buy cards. Yeah. For one thing, it's easy. Yes. You go click, click. Yes. But I love researching the artists as well love that are that. doing these. Mm -hmm. We started off with one card rack and we instantly got known for great cards. I'm up to like five card racks now and its own section. But you know, during the, the first lockdown, we sold a lot of cards. Like people really want to reach out to their loved ones. Uh, so much so, we start. We have a card service on our website now, where we'll write the note for you and uh, put the stamp on it and deliver. That's incredible. Because people are just really want to reach out. Newfoundlanders yeah. are very thoughtful. Yeah. They're real gift givers, yeah. and they just love this section. And it's my most exciting part on the website. Oh, I love it. I can tell by the way that you speak about it that. And it's really so being fun. able to put these cards online. Now, through the site, can they pick the card, pick the message, pick where it's going, all online? Yes. That's amazing. Yes. I don't even know of anywhere else that does that, so that's really incredible. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but I, we're, we're doing it, and yeah. I'm very excited for that. I love that. You're, we're helping people people keep that connection yeah. with their loved ones. Yeah. Like I said, we're a beautiful store, but we're very practical, mm -hmm. and we really want to help people make the best decisions and um, help them do that. Yeah, yeah, love it, mm -hmm. love it. Okay, so let's go look around a little bit more. Sam, one of our most popular um, areas is our bamboo section. Oh, and I can go up to a plus size in most items now. Awesome. But the little um, love those, and there's new items all the time. Like we we can't keep it in stock. No, it feels and like amazing. It's one of the things that we sold uh, during COVID as well was all the bamboo. Oh, they're flashing up their leggings yeah. and, and Lux Lounge, we call it. Um, Huge. So uh, we try I to touch it. That. I gotta, yeah. Can I touch it? Yes, please. Okay. And as we know, bamboo is like antibacterial. Oh, that's and so nice. And then the. Uh, I love these, and I love the rib. Yeah, underneath. and then you can do like a Oh my little, God, that's super cute, super yeah, cute. Okay, a, I found my outfit a little today. Beefy. There you go. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about these fuzzy guys. They're super cute. Well, maybe, well, um, one of my favorite uh, gift lines is this. So cute, the line beaver. of uh, stuffed animals, and I try and keep all the ones that are in Newfoundland. Yeah. So the fox, uh, the wolf. Uh, we always now sell our snowy owl. Oh, and, of course. And but also, 
The great thing about these is that they're all ages. Uh, right? Yeah, I would I would buy the beaver for sure. I love it. I gave him. my dad the fox for Christmas, yeah. and he just loves it. Yeah. So it's you know it's universal. Everyone loves a little stuffy. Yeah, yeah. like a little. It's like a little mm -hmm. piece. I really love that. I love these. Um, I love these patterns. I love the fabrics. Really nice and light. Um, I'm really excited about this line. Yeah, tell me. Um, it's a. Um, Diane Kennedy, who's a master pattern maker, mm -hmm. so I carry all these size 16 and up, up wow. to a 3X. I love it. And they're all 100% cotton, they feel and she beautiful. just knows how to fit the curves. Mm -hmm. So I'm delighted to have this brand here. Is this one a newer one for you here? Yes, these are all the new. And look at all the patterns. Yeah. So you want like skulls and roses. I really floral. love that. I really, um, really they love They all have that. pockets. Beautiful for the summer, kind of like really any excited. type of, even like a wedding or a brunch or, or just girls' because. day. Just or, because. Yeah, for no just reason. Just because. For being here. Uh, um, so much beautiful clothes. I don't even want to look at it because I'm going <laughs> to buy it all. And this Dan does this to me, I end up spending hundreds of dollars, which I'm happy to do because it's phenomenal stuff. Um, you also have some jewelry here. Yes. Tell me a little bit about this because it looks like some unique I've pieces. I've been and <laughs> this line for 15 years it was my first order i ever wrote are you serious yeah and uh wow so she's a montreal designer wow she's incredible business she she uh designs and makes every piece in-house in montreal that's incredible and we're kind of known for this yeah uh Anne-Marie chagnon so she she's about the ball so this i don't know dan if you can get this but this i did this in covid well, I, kim you were busy over covid i took all her old catalogs and I that's thought, incredible. What do, we do to work with what we have instead of buying more yeah. items? So this is what we did. We made chain garland just to create some fun so in the store. Did you let them know you did that? Did you should send her a picture? Yes. She liked it. <laughs> yes. I, I would really, I, as a brand. I would appreciate that more than anything. I think it's really, really neat the way that you did that. Um, okay, Kim, I got to What's on this table? I know that this looks like maybe handmade glassware it or is. ceramic. That's, um, out by Dildo Way, mm -hmm. and um, we put those in with our beer and gift boxes. Love sets, that, which is really fun. Super, super. And cute. we have another one coming with a trigger mitt design, which is really popular. Trigger mitts are so popular. Yes, they're very popular. So, and then all these for. Um, from Norton's Co. up by um, New West Valley, or they're used to call Wesleyville. Yeah, like just the, just so classic, right? Like it's and they're just all so vinyl special. Cut. Uh, I love that process where you cut it in the line. Yeah, it's almost like that. In the vinyl, and yeah. then oh over yes. It. Um, this is almost something that you'd keep, and you wouldn't want to even get rid of it. Like you the wouldn't want to throw it away, right? Yes. Kim, I just want to thank you so, so much for, for having us here today. You're an absolute pleasure. Yes, I see. Thank you. I, I want to be just like you when I grow up. So <laughs> I want to thank you again and just like keep doing you. And yes, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. It's okay. a lot of hard work, but it's worth it. Thanks, Sam. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Yes, by your local shopping guide for summer. I'm gonna show you this place. It's called Urban Market and I am obsessed with it. It's unique, it's all local. Let's go talk to Ivy and see what she has. So we are inside Urban Market. I cannot even explain how excited I am. Thank you, Ivy, for having us here today. I want to talk to you a little bit about the space and the building itself, because I've noticed in the last like couple years it's been vacant. And then did you kind of drive by, see this space? How did you look at this space and be like, I have a vision for it? Uh, what happened actually was my uh, business partner, um, he purchased the property. Uh, it went for sale in 2017 is when Brookfield shut down and the entire strip actually went for sale as one piece. So uh, he's a developer with Nidus Development and this uh, urban market was kind of the first phase of the redevelopment of this area that uh, kind of went vacant after Brookfield shut down. 
So you saw it as an opportunity to kind of make something of it. Um, I want to say, first of all, just being in here is such a unique experience from a consumer standpoint. I know I think it was like just a convenience store before, but this now is like an elevated experience that you showcase a lot of local products. Was that the goal when you saw this space and, and urban market and how that came about? And that's kind of what we started as. We knew there was a convenience store here in the past. Um, so we thought that we would keep the convenience items. But what we realized very quickly is our local products is what the community wanted and they kept coming back for. So we just kept expanding on that. When we opened in November uh, last year, six months ago, we uh, had 50 vendors. Now we have 180. Wow. And we have a list of new ones that want in. And it's a spot that you can stop and get your favorite vendors, but also learn about the other ones too. Yeah. And that's the great thing about us. It's when you purchase from Urban Market, you're not just purchasing from the store, you're purchasing from multiple Newfoundland households. Yeah, see, I have goosebumps even with you just saying that to me because I think that's so important. People are coming here for local items, but you're also exposing them to new local things that they can also accommodate and start purchasing on a regular basis. It looks like you're busting at the seams. Every <laughs> area is kind of covered in a sense. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, like we're we're having a little bit of trouble because it's so busy here, <laughs> um, which is amazing to see. So what are your kind of plans for expansion if there is any? We do have plans for expansion. So when we opened in November, our shelves were only 30% filled mm -hmm. just due to um, lack of funding during the pandemic. And now, because of the support from the community, from everyone who keeps coming back to shop with us, mm -hmm. we put all that back into the store. And now, like you said, we're busting at the seams. <laughs> so we're looking at adding another 2,500 square feet to wow. the store or moving to a very close location. We're, we're uh, in the middle of deciding what would be best for the store and the community that shops here. That's amazing because I think by the sounds of the dates you mentioned, you guys have only really been established here for a year and it lets, you know, it's been a hard year in the last year so the fact that you're able to grow exponentially over that small amount of time during a global pandemic is yeah. just phenomenal and i think it just gives everyone in newfoundland a little bit of hope when it when you when you hear that the economy can be so bad but you have these budding businesses locally it just gives you a little bit of hope for the long run and know? i think the reason it has been so successful is the fact that it is a community shop mm -hmm. it's a community market where every vendor supports the other vendors. Yeah. So it, um, you know, all my vendors uh, enjoy pushing the store mm -hmm. to help sell their products, which in turn sells the next vendor's products. Yeah. So, you know, they grow together and that's what we're about. We're not about competition. Mm -hmm. um, we have multiple jam vendors, but they all sell well. Yeah. And they're all on the same shelf. Exactly. It's great. I love that. Yeah. Go Newfoundland. Yes. So I need to know the, the 1919, where does that come from? So um, on this location, uh, the La Merchant Road strip here, this is actually a long time ago was called Lester's Field. Mm -hmm. And what happened in the year 1919 was the first transatlantic flight took off from this field and landed in Europe successfully. Wow. So it was a story about uh, two communities coming together, two continents coming together. And that's kind of the basis of our store yeah. is community. Like so. I just goosebumps. I love when I get goosebumps when I do this. This happens all the time. <laughs> but the fact that you that it's almost like, oh, it's like past was coming to the future and coming together. And I love that. That's exactly. So and neat. over at the Brookfield factory is a monument oh. for that historic event. Yeah. So um, part of our redevelopment plan is to actually take that monument and make a small park area around it closer to the store. So cool. So that we can, you know, educate the community yeah. as well on the history of the area. And how important community is. It is. Coming yeah. together in that sense. It, it is, is like a, a very unique experience. I, um, I don't know if we have time, Dan, but I want to look at the candy aisle. <laughs> because there's some really unique candy and I love that. It's not what you would find in any typical convenience store. Okay, I'm very excited because you guys know this is my favorite aisle in any store, the candy aisle. So I'm just super impressed with the uh, selection. Choose, come on, come on, who remembers? Um, nerds, nerd robes, amazing. These unicorn pops, so cute. Dots, sour dots, sour jelly beans. Guys, it's endless. Too much, I love it, so much. Also, baked goods. Gingerly, I've heard of this uh, bakery. I know that she is local, obvious. I'm almost positive that it's vegan. Um, let me double check on that. 
We are in the gift aisle. I would imagine this is the gift aisle, or the like the this is the aisle? this is the locally made gift aisle, and what you're holding there is a catnip toy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so my cat, my cat is getting the fat seal. This is so, and obviously this is locally made. Yep. So what we have here is we have some of our Foggy Island candles. So um, they're located downtown, Love and that. they actually sell here as well. Their candles, which is a very big seller with us in our gift aisle. Um, we have sushi boards, and this is by Macwood. So she did a lot of ocean boards over Christmas, and now she's doing sushi boards That's as incredible. well. That's incredible. Yeah, it's really nice on slate. Um, so Ruby, is this like a resin? Yes, wow. yeah, it's an ocean resin. Super and um, cool. we have Ruby rope design. So these are locally made rope design bowls. And How? Placements. How? She sews them all herself. Um, they're wow. very good quality. They're a top seller with us. This we, is super cool too for like plants. Yeah, so those are propaganda stations. That's so neat. Yeah. So is this like the East, um, is this just an East Coast glow basket? It but is. is um, you can do other stuff? Or... Yeah, so we do gift baskets uh, for all our customers. They can pick their own uh, gifts and we can put many local vendors into one basket. I love and that. these boxes are actually locally made too from a local woodworker. That's so cool. That is so special. Very customized. I love that so much. Like. And I'm so lazy that I would do that all the time. I love that, I love that. Okay, let's keep moving. Wow, okay, now we're getting into the coffee. I've heard a lot about the Bonavista Coffee Company, the Gross Morn Coffee, like, I love this. And you're right, it's not about competing with each other no. because look at all these different brands of coffee yeah. and they do well, and yeah. they do well. For so, coffee, we have Dark Tickle, we have Bonavista, Gross Morn, Cafe Terranova, First Light, which is our coffee. Wow. We have Trinity Coffee, and then you move on to the tea. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, we have organic and vegan nursing coffee. That's so awesome. We're the only ones in Newfoundland that I know of selling this. Wow. Uh, the lady that developed it is from Newfoundland, and she was on Dragon's Den. Stop it. Yes. That's so cool. Um, so that's a tea as well as a coffee that helps you. milk production for breastfeeding moms. That's good. It's a really popular item. And you can only get it here? In Newfoundland. You can also order it online from Milkstead as well. Good for her. That's like, I'm, I'm like so proud. That's, like, this is amazing. <laughs> so I know people come in here for the meats. Tell me about the meats. Well, the cool thing about us is all our deli meats are actually prepared by Chinch. That's downtown as amazing. well. Yeah. Yes. So okay. their charcuterie packs are our top seller. Um, and people come in and grab a charcuterie pack and then they might grab some Five Brothers cheese, which is also locally made. I love that. And you can put together your own charcuterie board. Yeah. They're so in style right now. Big time. And we even have uh, vegan uh, cashew cheddar Stop. and cashew cream cheese by Crumb and Pickle too. That's yeah. incredible. And I do want to just bounce back for a second. I mentioned Gingerly, the bakery. They're vegan cookies too, right? Yeah. All this stuff so is vegan. We have a lot of vegan stuff. Mickey's makes us vegan sandwiches. So does Volcano. We have ginger Gingerly is all bakery that's vegan and it's local that. and crumb and pickles in now as well. So we even have vegan cheese from the green kitchen as well. Oh my God, you guys yeah. have it all. Yeah, like, we I'm, try to. I'm never leaving. I'm never leaving. <laughs> it is definitely your one-stop shop it really with is. a local flair. I love it. Yeah. Love it. So Ivy, tell me a little bit about what I'm looking at in these like freezers, all this meat. Yeah, so we just got another freezer actually, so we're able to carry a bit more, but we actually carry multiple farms here. So we have local farms from Newfoundland. We have Exploits Meadow Farms, so they're a local lamb farm. We carry sausages as well as racks of lamb. Nice. Um, we carry faggots meat. So this is all beef from uh, up in CB Foxtrap, sorry. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. His, his meatballs are really popular. They look amazing. Yeah, they're really big. <laughs> and then we have chinch sausages, of course. Um, wow. And we also carry hair pot farms. So we have burgers, we have sausages, bacon. Um, we have all different stuff from hair pot. We also carry piatto pizza kits as well as ready-made pizzas. Oh my and Lord. And we even have Evo pizzas. <laughs> okay, so what goes with pizza? We are, yeah. yes, if you're picking up a pizza, you definitely need to come by and pick up some of our craft beer as well. I love them. They all look so neat. I and just I don't love know, it. Have you seen any of these? These are our beer towers. So these are a big seller. So people buy these for birthdays. Of course they do. I know, they are awesome. You can either pick out your own special type of beer. Maybe you want some kitty bitty beer in there or we can do one of every flavor we have. Stop it. I know. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Ivy, you've been incredible. Thank you so much for showing us. I'm gonna go shopping now. Oh, excellent. And I just really appreciate you for your time. And like guys, come down to the urban market and literally just, just walk around. You're gonna find something that speaks to you. And just remember that you're supporting local when you're shopping here. You're and that's what your goal is. Yeah, you're definitely supporting the community, not just the yeah. urban market. It's, we it's need everybody. that. Yeah, we need that. Ivy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.
That is a wrap on this episode. We are so excited. Thank you so much to everyone that participated. It was such a joy to come out here and learn about all the different things. We hope to see you again soon and take care. program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit Roger